Hi everyone, this is Hugo again. Today's lecture is training number three. And let's take a look at the main importance. Understanding of cylinder datum and feature measurement. First, let's take a look at the datum A. Datum A is here, which indicates the uh, hole right here. But as I've mentioned before, we do the leveling with the datum A. But the datum A is at a hole. So if you think of the feature, you can either measure circle or cylinder. But to do the leveling, it requires an axis. So therefore, you have to measure it as a cylinder. Because circle does not have axis. So after that, datum B which is the left surface, the part, measure the line, and do the rotation. And then datum C, which is the top surface of the part, measure the plane, do the translation. So after setting up the alignment, we're going to inspect dimension number 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the diameter, of course. So let's take a look at the practice. So first, measure cylinder. Measure cylinder, it requires 8 minimum points. And I'm going to measure it as 2 circles. So 4 points each for a circle. And click alignment and leveling so if you look at the location of the alignment after leveling it's a little different than do the leveling with plane because when you do leveling with plane it only constrains two degrees of rotation and one degree of translation which is Z value in the previous trainings but in this training number three we do the leveling with the cylinder and do the leveling with cylinder constraints two degrees of rotation and two degrees of translation which is x and y value so that's why the z value still remains as the same of the uh, mcs that's why the current location of alignment is there and for the rotation Measure our line. Then click alignment and rotation. And then for the translation, we measure plane on the top surface and then click alignment and translation and after alignment is set up I'm going to measure a point on a front surface and also another point on a left surface to inspect the dimension number one and two. So if you look at the actual values of those two points are the negative values because of the current location of the origin. But even if I put the nominal as a positive value it still calculates correctly because the calculating option is set up as distance but if you change it to coordinate it calculates like this which means you would have to put nominal also 
or negative value. Then it calculates correctly. So change it back to distance option. And still the nominal is negative, but still calculates the same. Change it back to positive value. Okay, after that, measure a circle, inspect dimension number 3 and 4. And input nominal values for circle number 1. And that's it for the training number three and I'll be back with you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.